guys, what a roller coaster I've had here in my first two weeks in London. But I'm glad to say it's all been worth it as I've managed to learn so, so much. And at the same time, I've managed to agree my first deal as a real estate agent here in London. And that's exactly what today's video is about. Now, I can't go into too much detail for obvious reasons, but I'm going to cover the work leading up to the sale, the day of the viewing itself, and then the close and actually agreeing the sale, which was an absolutely amazing feeling. So I can't wait to share it with you guys. But just before we jump into that, make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm as it helps me push this video out to more people, which is a great feeling. And hopefully then we're able to build this community and have more conversations about real estate, finance, investing, and whatever else we come up with as a little community on this channel. Let's aim for 18 likes as it was recently my 18th birthday. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. So to start off with, I'd like to give you a brief overview of the work that I had to put in before I got this first deal. As being an estate agent is really the sort of job where you get out what you put in. So part of what I do throughout the day is I call prospective buyers and essentially advise them on what properties I feel will suit their needs and try and book them in to a viewing. Now that's the graft element of the job and it's something that you really have to get stuck into to get those viewings as those viewings can then convert into sales and so on and so forth. But for this sale in particular, that wasn't needed at all. Throughout the day, we also receive inbound leads and those come via email or via a phone call. Now the email leads are split evenly between the team of three sales negotiators in our office and where it gets really interesting is the phone leads as those are first come first serve. So as soon as the phone rings all of the negotiators in the office including the lettings team as they're on the same line as we are race to that phone to pick it up as that could be a potential client who's interested in viewing a property and therefore could potentially be a buyer. And that's exactly how I first got in touch with my client who then became my first buyer. God, I feel like I do way too much talking in these videos, but I'm just, you know, trying to get you guys involved and, and, and give you an idea of, of what I do throughout the day. But do leave me feedback in the comments section if it's a bit too much rambling or if you actually enjoy um, the, well, not even the detail, but the, the sort of extent that I go to to try and uh, explain these situations to you, basically. So the day of the viewing came and it was actually on a Saturday that I wasn't supposed to work, but I really wanted to do my own viewing. So I came in that morning and printed off brochures and got any information that I was going to need for the viewing. Now this viewing in particular was actually still during my first week at the office. So as you can imagine, I hadn't seen all of the properties we've got at this point and this was one of them. So I hadn't actually been to this property, which meant that beforehand I had to do a lot of research on the development, the property itself, and anything else that would have been useful to my clients, so primary schools in the area, as they had a younger child. The property itself is a two bedroom apartment that's in a mansion development, and it's actually very nice and relatively close to my office. So that day it was particularly sunny, so I decided to walk to the viewing and now that I look back on it, I probably should have given myself a bit more time to get there as I'd never been at the development before. Long story short, I launched Google Maps and started walking to the development and well, essentially Google Maps tried to get me to climb over a building to get to where I wanted to be. So it wasn't ideal and I had to go the long way around and let's just say I was very tight on time when I got to the viewing. I like to get there early to prepare, get a feel for the property and, and you know, prepare what I'm going to say really. It's, it's a sales role, you need to be prepared. It's all in the preparation. But I got there all stressed and, you know, I was rushing and it wasn't the, it wasn't the best scenario, let's just say. Um, but at least I wasn't late and the viewers turned up shortly after that. So my clients turned up and we did the viewing and afterwards I could tell that they were quite positive about the place so I was looking forward to getting some feedback from them the following Monday. Fast forward two days and it was that Monday which is a day that I catch up with clients that I did viewings with on a Friday and a Saturday and let's just say I was really looking forward to calling David, let's just call him that, because the viewing was very positive. So I called David and we started talking about the property and he gave me some feedback and, <clears throat> sorry, and a couple of minutes later, he made me an offer. And let's, you know, I, I was a week into the job and I was like, oh, what do I do? Obviously I, I'd been prepped and I'd, 
I, I knew what to do, but it was still one of those feelings like, oh wow, something's happening here, something, you know, I've got an offer. Um, so I got an offer, it was below the asking price. So I ended up speaking to my sales manager and we went backwards and forwards with the sellers and my clients. And at the end of the negotiations, we managed to agree an offer which was at the asking price which is honestly such a great result and it was a really really good feeling now since then as with every property sale i'm told we've had a couple of bumps along the way but we've managed to iron them out and everything is fine now and i'm pleased to say that i've released the memorandums of sale and i've passed the sale over to the solicitors which means that we're full steam ahead now waiting for completion and exchange sorry, exchange and completion, which are the final steps of the sales process. So there you go guys, there's an overview of what I've been up to over the last couple of weeks here in London, and I simply cannot wait for the content that's coming out very soon. So if you are interested in potentially some property tours or some similar content like that, then make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to stay involved. As, as I've said, I'm really excited uh, for the sort of content that I've got planned, so I really wouldn't want you, you guys to miss out. And uh, yeah, with that being said, thanks for watching, guys. If you do have any suggestions for any content that you want to see on the channel, please make sure to leave a comment down below, and I shall see you next time. <laughs>